Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Becky and you're watching Notes from the Sewing Room. So today I am in a slightly different location in my living room because today is the day when I'm going to reveal my winter capsule wardrobe. Now I know you're probably thinking, well, why are you doing this Becky? It's summer now. But I've been talking about it for ages, basically not got round to filming this video. So today I thought I would show you my kind of reveal of my winter capsule wardrobe video. So I've got a few different things to talk to you about here, which are all on my rack here. And I'm going to be putting all of them on. So if you just bear with me, I will be putting them on shortly to show you how each of the items work together. Um, because obviously that's the purpose of the capsule wardrobe um, and I hope you enjoy watching today. If you do enjoy watching I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up that would be amazing because that helps YouTube share this video with other people who may be interested in sewing um, and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel already I would love it if you could do that um, and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well but of course thank you to everyone who does um, tune in week after week I really do appreciate it so um, without further ado I shall talk to you about what I've got here in my capsule wardrobe and also if anyone is interested in what I'm wearing today I am wearing one of my galaxy t-shirts so this is the pattern scissors cloth galaxy t-shirt it's a free pattern and I love it it is one of my free uh, favorite free should I say uh, t-shirt patterns and also to be honest one of my just favorite t-shirt patterns I love that it's got the poofy sleeves and um, I've actually lowered the neckline by around about four inches from memory um, but I yeah I really do like it and I do recommend it but in my um, capsule wardrobe here behind me, um, I have two t-shirts to show you. I've also got two skirts and a dress and also a cardigan. So I'm gonna run through which um, they all are, or what they all are, and then I'm gonna be slipping them all on so you can see how they work together as well. Um, I would love to know if you've created your own capsule wardrobe, so do let me know in the comments below um, if you have done that, if you've got any questions about what I've made, um, and if you've got any suggestions of kind of capsule wardrobe type things you'd like to see in the future from me. Perhaps you'd like to see dresses, skirts, um, kind of a mixture of things um, to create a whole wardrobe type thing like I have now. Um, I am planning on putting together a, a summer capsule wardrobe soon. So do let me know if that's something that you are interested in and the types of things that you'd like to see included. Um, but yes, let's tell you what's in my rack and um, what's on my rack of things, should I say. Um, right, so let's start at this end, shall we? So I wanted to include a cardigan because obviously in winter time, and to be honest, even in summer in the UK, we sometimes need a cardigan just to keep us a little bit warm, and particularly in winter, obviously. I'm quite a cold person, so yeah, I always need to wrap up warm. I've usually got about 15 layers on just to try and keep me nice and toasty. Um, so I decided to make the Tilly and the Buttons Bertha cardigan. So here it is. Um, this is a really cool cardigan because I've made it out of remnants. So I went to Sew Brum um, here in the UK in Birmingham uh, last October time probably and I picked up a load of remnants from um, Guthrie and Garney, one of my favourite fabric shops, and I just really wanted to see how they would work together and I thought making a cardigan would be really cool so um, this is a this is a really good cardigan to use remnants for because it's got some beautiful shaping to it and I think actually using the remnants really sets off what the shaping is so I used um, this grey sweatshirt in fabric for the cuffs and also the neck band so that's really nice I used a sparkly kind of fleecy backed sweatshirt jersey for the, the main sort of front bodice pieces I've used a cosy colours um, kind of sweatshirting for the sleeves and then you can also see on the back I've also got that nice sparkly fabric as well. So I'm really really pleased with that and um, don't forget I am going to be slipping all these things on so you can see how they work together. So that is the first one. So that one was from one of the Tilly the Buttons books. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it is. I think it might be from the stretch book 
or the Make It Simple book. I think it's from the stretch book, not sure. I'll put it in the comments below anyway. Um, so this, the next one is something that I wanted to make for ages. And this is the Felicity skirt by Jennifer Lauren Pattons. So this was actually part of my Make Nine. I really wanted to um, have a go at doing this one. And I'm really, really pleased with how it worked out. I don't think that the fit is 100% on me, but I'm pleased that I gave it a go. And I think next time, you know, you learn from what you do and how it works out, don't you really? So I think it's just the waistband is probably not, you know, tip top on me probably. Um, but I think it just needed to be taken in slightly. And of course I could correct that, but I kind of think if I'm wearing this in winter, I want to tuck in a jumper. So with the jumper tucked in, it's fine. So probably don't need to worry about it too much. So I used this needle cord fabric um, here that I got from Eliza Mack Fabrics online. Um, the skirt has got a couple of different variations that you can do. You can have more of a circle type skirt, kind of A-line skirt, or you can do um, the version that I did, which has got this beautiful gathering all across there. Um, so on both versions of the skirt, it's got some lovely pockets. So uh, if I just put my hand in there, you'll be able to see that they are quite deep pockets, actually. Um, I think the needle cord is a beautiful fabric. I really, really love it. But perhaps it wasn't the best choice for this skirt just because it's perhaps a little tiny bit on the weighty side um, for all of the gathers. And that could also be um, making the waistband perhaps not sit 100% on me. Um, but it is a lovely skirt and it looks great with the cardigan that I just showed you and also um, with one of the tops I've got behind me as well. So yeah, that's one of the skirts I wanted to sh show you. The next one is something again that I've wanted to make for a long time and I'm so pleased that I had a go with this one because I absolutely love this dress. So it's actually called a pinafore but pinafore dress, kind of the same thing. So yeah, here it is. So this is the doll seat pinafore also by Jennifer Lauren patterns and uh, Jennifer Lauren handmade, should I say. And yeah, it's a great pattern to try if you haven't already. It's got some lovely features. So we've got this nice square neckline. Um, the whole of the bodice was supposed to be lined. I decided that I wasn't gonna do that because I thought I'd like this skirt, uh, this dress, should I say, to have longevity that I can wear it in the winter but also I can transition to wearing it in the spring and then possibly on a slightly cooler summer day as well. So I basically didn't want to be too hot when the weather is a little bit warmer. So I decided that I wasn't gonna bother with the lining and instead I've put on this lovely bias binding all the way around there. And I don't know if you can see, but it's actually got dinosaurs on, which is super cute. Um, so the uh, bias binding is a lovely one and that's from the Specky Seamstresses online shop. Um, I highly recommend all of those bindings. Um, I've used them a few times before and I think they're perfect for dressmaking and there's some really cool designs and colours and stuff as well. Um, so I decided that I was going to obviously put the binding around the arm socket and um, around the neckline there and then I've used some beautiful um, shiny jeans buttons all the way down the front that I bought from Minerva and um, this dress has got some lovely features. We've got princess seams down the front here um, and then we've got this kind of uh, waistband area which is quite nice. Um, I think the dress is designed to have um, not lots of ease. I found that it got a little bit of ease there um, so I decided to bring it in slightly um, around the seams of the bodice and uh, down the outer seams um, just to get that slightly better fit on, on myself. I made this in a size 10 in the pattern pack um, all over so I didn't grade out at all um, but uh, like I said I have had to take it in just slightly around the bodice um, but I really like this um, one of my favorite features is the pockets we've got these lovely square pockets around here if I just slide my hand you're gonna see they're really really deep pockets um, and perfect because you can just put so much stuff in there if you want uh, but it's a really smart dress and um, but I also think that it looks great wearing with Converse with just a t-shirt underneath, which to be honest is how I would wear it most of the time. But I think I could also wear this into the office and get away with it. Um, I've used this kind of salmony pink stretch denim to make mine. Um, I would say it's a medium weight um, denim fabric, not too light, not too heavy. Um, and I bought this from eBay absolutely ages ago. I was gonna use it for something else, didn't get around to it. So I just thought, why not? I'm gonna use it for this. And this dress works perfectly, of course, with some of the tops that I've got behind and also I can put the cardigan on there as well. 
So next up, I've got a t-shirt pattern, which um, some of you here on my channel recommended me to make. So thank you so much for um, giving me the heads up about this pattern, because I really did enjoy having a go at it. So this is the Forget Me Not Patterns Iris t-shirt. So um, I think I lowered the neck down, neckline down um, slightly on this one. Um, this is a lovely cotton jersey fabric that I've used. It's got this, um, kind of splattered paint effect all over it, which is quite cool. Um, and I really, really like the sleeve detailing on this one. So there's a couple of different sleeve details that you can actually do in the pattern pack. Um, and uh, but I went for the short sleeve version. You probably can't see it too well, but it's almost got like a pleat in there, which is quite nice. So it's not a gather, it's more of a, a pleat detailing. Um, but the thing is, on the website of Forget Me Not Patterns, if you look at this pattern, there's actually a little kind of video tutorial type thing of how to actually do the pleat, which is super helpful. So if you do have a go at doing this pattern and you haven't already tried it, I would definitely recommend checking out that little video clip because it's um, yeah really helped me actually. Um, but this is a lovely one and again it works perfectly um, with uh, a couple of the skirts that I've got here um, and underneath the pinafore dress as well which I just showed you a second ago. So the next one is actually a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. So you may know if you watch my channel that I love the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. I've made it lots of times. I actually recorded a video a while ago, if you look back on my channel, if you're interested, um, showing the full range of Agnes tops that I'd done at the time. And I can't remember how many it was. It was something like 10 or 12 or something like that. But anyway, it's one of my all time favorites. Um, and this one, it's got the rouge sleeve detailing down the side, which I really like. Um, it finishes just above my um, elbow area. And um, this one's got the scoop neckline, of course. Probably could do with a bit of an iron. <laughs> um, and I use this kind of plain, um, I would, it's not really, um, not really a cotton jersey, but it's not really a viscose either. It's probably somewhere in between. I like it because it's a plain jersey, but I don't know if you can see, it's got little hearts kind of imprinted on the fabric, um, which is really, really nice. I bought that from Fabric Godmother and I'm delighted with it. Um, it's a beautiful quality fabric. It's washed really well. I've got a bit left over, so I'm hoping to get another t-shirt out of that because you can't go wrong with a grey top. I think it just goes with so much stuff. Um, so that's that one. And then finally, in my capsule wardrobe, I've got another skirt. So um, this is actually a skirt that I've made a few times before, but I've had a big gap in when I made it last time. And I was inspired to give this a go again um, by um, Kath from Made by Kath Craft. Um, I think I saw her wearing a tulip skirt. So this is the Sew so Over It tulip skirt, and um, it's a great pattern. So if you haven't tried this one, I would highly recommend it. So I made this in a size 10 at the waist, and then I graded out to a size 12 at the hip. I finished mine with an invisible zip at the back, but you could easily put an exposed zipper in there if you preferred. Um, I got mine out of about a metre of fabric, and um, that was great because I only had a metre, and um, I was a little bit hesitant if it was gonna work, but um, I have got a few, um, ripples not really gathers or anything like that but uh, ripples around the top of the waistband and that is because um i didn't cut the um the waistband as it was designed to be cut i've had to kind of piece a couple of bits of fabric together to try and get the waistband to work but i'm really happy with it so i don't think you can go wrong particularly out of a whole meter of fabric i think i, I did okay there really um but you'll see i've got a join in the front of the waistband which is um that there um, which is not supposed to be there but obviously I had to do that because I had limited fabric um but yeah it's a lovely beautiful tulip shape obviously it looks a bit weird because I'm hanging up on that I'm showing you it's hung up on the hanger um but you will see me in it in a second and that's you know <laughs> hopefully not going to look too weird um so yeah I've got these beautiful pleats um in the front there and then also down the side section and then on the back there's actually not any pleats but there are a couple of darts um, but this is a lovely simple skirt which looks great um, with the tops and the cardigan um, that I've showed you already. So would you like to see me wearing the bits and pieces? You probably would do. Um, so bear with me and I'm going to slip them all on for you.
hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and you've enjoyed seeing all of my capsule wardrobe. If you have, I would love it if you could press that like button for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll be back with you uh, with another video very, very soon. But until then, don't forget to leave me any comments below that you'd like to. I love to have a chat with you um, down in the comment section and do let me know anything that you're making. Um, but until next time, I'll leave it there and say see you later. Bye.